The thorny issue of assessment of creativity has been a big point of discussion in education, particularly over the last 20 years. I believe that it's possible to assess creative attitudes and creative skills concurrently with curriculum. If you look at the assessment of creative competencies in education systems around the world, they tend to treat creativity as something which is generic. I'm a creative person, I'm not a creative person. And that's not how it works. I know from my experience that if you want to assess collaboration in science, then you assess the skills and attitudes of collaboration and how their scientific knowledge has developed. If you're looking at assessing students' openness to new experience in how they solve maths problems, then you see how open they are to new ways of solving maths problems. It's actually relatively straightforward. But I think what's important to consider in this question is, are school subjects going to disappear from curricula? And the answer is no, they're not. So therefore, I think you have to integrate teaching the attitudes and processes of creativity into existing subject areas. And this can be done very easily, uh, incrementally, which is how learning occurs in every subject. And it can be done in collaboration with the teachers and also with the students. Because if you've shown that you can collaborate well in your science lesson, there's no reason why you can't collaborate well in your sporting team or collaborate in a scientific experiment. There's no reason that these things can't happen. So it's all about transferable competencies. That's a term we hear a lot. But for me, it's about having the attitude or the skill within the subject area and consolidating that and assessing that. And then you look at a student's development in a more holistic perspective.